Hey guys, this is Premium Poppy. God bless. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am. Welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. We're going to get right into this. We're actually going to go over here. And we're going to begin a co-op quest. We're going to be doing the Explore the Ice Eggs. Um, let's get right into this. We're going to have to slay a monster. Alright, we're going to do a super rare expedition. Because why not? I think it'd be kind of cool. Let's get right into this. Alrighty guys, but I hope your day is going well. It is really early in the morning. It was like it's like five o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna be uploading this at a later time. But woke up early. I'm like, you know what? I feel like playing some Monster Hunter, and here I am. I prayed a little bit. Oh, prayed a little bit. I decided to, um, just yeah. I, I just prayed, talked to the Lord for a little while. And then I was like, you know what? I I think it's time that I play some Monster Hunter. It's a good thing that we have thy lump with us. Um, oh, a pink Rathian. Got to get myself one of those. All right. Elder Frost Gameth. Ooh. Interesting. Looks like a very difficult monster. Um, I do not believe we even have to complete the full quest to get the. Yeah, I, I don't think. Oh, yeah, we do have a monster, but I don't think we have to complete the full quest in order to get the um. Get the monster eggs. Saltus and a Saltus Queen. Alright. So yeah, um, we're exploring a super rare den. I'm just gonna make it a goal to get all the eggs I can. So there's an egg nest right here that I'm gonna get. Not sure what I'll get. Um, there is a chance that these will be Elder Dragons or Deviants. Looks like no monsters at the nest. This might be our chance. Okay. Um, as I said, in order to get super rare um, tickets, you need to actually use bottle caps. So you gotta go on normal expeditions, or you gotta go to Everdens and find the bottle caps. And then you go from there. Oh wow, look at that! This reeks, and it's it's, it's heavy too. You sure you want that egg? Eh, why not? We have a few more eggs we can get. Whoa, look at that! What 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 luck? That was really really good. Wow. Pulsing Brute wy Wyvern Egg. <clears throat> wonder what, uh, which Wyvern that is. I, I really couldn't say. A Pulsing Brute Wyvern. Huh. Interesting, but acceptable. Very acceptable. Ten bottle caps. Nice. As I said, you get a lot of bottle caps from here. Oh, no monsters here. Another egg. Nice. Alright, what do we get from here? Look at that. Another one. That looks like a Gameth egg, or at least an Elder Frost Gameth, I believe. So, we're gonna take this one. We have to actually hunt and slay an Elder Frost Gameth, but we got an Elder Frost Gameth egg. Um, Elder, Fro Elder Frost Gameth is a deviant monster. They are extremely difficult, kind of like the Silverwind Nargakuga. I honestly don't see myself being able to beat it right now, especially with monsters that are only level like 47 or 48. I am in no way prepared to fight these things. I barely managed to win against that Silverwind Nargakuga. Um, in a few episodes, or for you guys, maybe a week or so, maybe two weeks, we're going to be doing a challenge once we reach um, level 50 that will help us gain lots and lots of levels. Um, as the... Right when the game, uh, the story ended, they mentioned the Elder, the Elder's Lair. The Elder's Lair is a very, very important part of the post game. The Elder's Lair allows you to hunt and um, train from really high level monsters. Uh, it's very grind heavy, but the reward, the the rewards outweigh all of the. All the grind in the game. It's it's amazing how many levels you'll gain. Uh, you you'll get a level one from. Uh, yeah, one 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 uh, bulldrum hunt will get you from level one to level thirty. It's that much experience, and that's only at I believe like floor one or two. <clears throat> there are multiple floors throughout the Elder's Lair, and I've done a little bit of research on it. Oh, there's a monster, the Elder Frost Gameth. We're actually not going to hunt this thing right now. 
we're gonna keep going. But yeah. I'm just taking it easy, taking my time. Getting all the chests I can, getting all the monster eggs I can, you know? I believe you can get anywhere up for upwards of uh, two to three, maybe four monster eggs. And that, that, that depends, honestly, on if you're uh, playing multiplayer or not. Because if you're doing multiplayer, ooh, a strength instrument, I like it. If you're playing um, Monster Hunter with other people, then they're going to be able to get eggs like you, but the connection is going to be very unstable. So if you do play um, play with yourself, or you play by yourself, and you have other people, instead of having other people with you, not only are you going to have a better chance of getting the eggs and not having a disconnecting error, but it makes it easier because there's going to be less chance of battles happening and all that fun stuff. <clears throat> that looks like a Xenogre egg? What kind of Xenogre is that? That might be a Deviant Xenogre. Um, maybe, I don't know. I, I do know there's a a few different deviants that we can get. Some are very, very cool. I do know I want to use some... Uh, a Pulsing Fanged Wyvern. Nice. Yep, that's definitely a uh, deviant Xenogre, so... I want to head all the way up here now. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, I'm heading into work later today. I'm very excited for work. Um, and... No, I get to sleep in, so... <laughs> I got to sleep in, but sadly I didn't sleep in because I'm playing Monster Hunter. Get extra sleep or have fun playing video games. I, I have my choices. I have my priorities, you know. But the Lord always comes first. Remember that, guys. You may not understand it at first, but when you give the Lord um, your everything, and you give that, all the Lord wants is your heart. A pretty good show is called The Chosen. I highly recommend it. I still, I still can't get over the, um, just how nice the caves look. Like, this whole game as a whole is a beautiful, is very beautiful. It's, it's amazing, this game. Um, yeah, it, it's just such a cool game. Oh. Also, I managed to sell, if you see how much gold I have up there, I managed to sell a lot of trading items, and I got crap load and i mean a literal crap load of, go of uh, gold so all my trading items are gone but it was worth it now we can buy items that we need we can buy more hunting tickets to get more super rare uh, excuse me not hunting tickets more expedition tickets that will allow us to get bottle caps that will allow us to get more um blue bear bear off that will allow us to get more super rare tickets Wow, okay, well, looks like we explored everything. Let's go hunt this monster, or, correction, attempt to hunt it. Will we succeed? Probably not. Oh, that was close. Will we win? I, I don't know. But the, the last thing we can do is try. Elder Frost Gameth has an insane amount of health. And I mean a literal insane amount. I wonder, like... Yeah, we have 60 minutes again. Um, so uh, if we return, are we going to lose everything? I don't know. We might. Let me give it a try. Alrighty. Here we go. Moment of truth. I don't think I'm ready to hunt a Elder Frost Gameth just yet. Alright. Yep. We actually got the uh, the eggs. So, let me actually go and let's go, uh, see what these eggs are. Alrighty. Um, first things first. This is probably going to be a Velocidrome. I, uh, I was doing some more quests and I got this egg. Oh, look, Velocidrome. What'd I tell ya? Alright, now we're going to get to the the bread and butter of this video. I want, I'm wondering what this one is right here. I'll save that one for the end. I know this is probably going to be an Elder Frost Gameth. Or just regular game, but I'm guessing Elder Frost. Which I'm excited for Deviants. I am wrong, it's a Legiana. I was so very wrong. It does have some really good moves though. Health boost, cr uh, critical kinship, critical. Nice. I'll take it. And what about this guy? A Pulsing Fang Wyvern. This is either a regular Xenogre or a um, Deviant Xenogre. 
I hope anyway. I Nope. Just a regular Zenogre. Alright. Now what is this guy right here? Yeah, I'm I'm not expecting too much, honestly. I was hoping for some deviance, but I don't think we're gonna get that. A Falger Anjanath, I'll take it. That's a new one. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's actually real good. Well, extra large health boost. Kinship. Well, that's actually really good. I'll take it. Alright. Well, there's that. Maybe we'll go on... Let's go on another expedition, just because we can. Not gonna lie, that first batch was kind of a disappointment. So let's get right back into this. We'll give this uh, the a new expedition a try. A super rare. Maybe we'll get something a little better. Alright, I am very stupid. I apologize. I had to look it up. Um, so in order to go get deviants and stuff, depending on which quest line you do, one of these right here, um, the Explore Jungle Den, the Explore Woodland Den, the Explore the Snowy Mountain Den, Explore Desert Den, Explore Fa Flowery Den, and Explore the Volcanic Den. Um, doing one of these six quests will determine which um, Deviant or Elder Dragon you will end up getting. Um... I'm just going to randomly choose. It, it doesn't matter to me which one I get. Um, actually, I, I'm hoping to get like a, a Zenogre or maybe a, a Silver Wind Narcacuga. But you know what? I'll, I'll give this a try. I'm just going to... Let's see. You know what? I'll go... Um, I'm going to make it a goal. And I'm going to go for the Snowy one. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Snowy one. Here we go. We're gonna use a super rare ticket, and we're gonna go for a snowy, uh, a snowy mountain den, and, go, and we'll go from there. I apologize for the confusion. I'm still learning this game just like everyone else. So, let's get right into this quest. There we go, guys. All right, let's get going. So, we started the quest. Uh, let me go down here. Yeah, I apologize. I had to look it up. I'm Again, I'm still learning this game, just like a bunch of other people. First time playing this game, there's a lot to learn. Our goal is to slay the Thunderlord Zenogre. There we go, which I am honestly not prepared to slay, but you know. I'll just go in here. My goal is to actually just hunt some deviants. Go from there. I don't know what I'll get, but I can only try. An expedition ticket rare. Nice. So that'll help us get rare monsters. I, I like it. I like it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to walk around and collect all the chests again. Last time we got poly a Palamute. This time, we're just going to go rush right into things and hope for the best. I want to get those bones. I want every second of this to count. 60 minutes is more than enough time, especially to hunt monsters and to, and to hunt the uh, Deviant. The cool thing is... Oh, I can't do that. The cool thing is that um, when you're playing like a uh, solo on co-op quests, you actually get the um, helper. I've I mentioned it many times before, but it's just really, really useful. Because while other players are just rushing around and risk aggroing monsters, you can just walk around with no problem at all. I, I enjoy it. Uh, we made it through there. I, I want to head back the other way. So, I like it. It's a red kezu. I, I like it a lot. I remember getting a red kezu in Stories 1. Now, that was a fun time. That was difficult, but it was fun. The rewards were insane. Yeah, I, when I was going through some of the quests um, in the last expedition, I was like, I'm going to get Deviants. Yeah, Super Rare Dan, pretty good. Well, I, I didn't know that you actually had to go through certain quests to get it. Um, I thought if you did a Super Rare... Yeah, I, I was I was stupid. <laughs> so, uh, don't do what I just did, but you have to go through one of the six. Um, one of the six explore quests, and you'll have a better chance to get a Deviant or an Elder Dragon. Come on, I want that thing. Oh, I was close. It's a good thing we're fast. We got those reflexes. Alright, here we go. Also be on the lookout for better mining nodes. Uh, you'll have a really good chance of getting some good stuff. Oh, look at that. Now, what are you? Um, what are you? 
I think I'm gonna do a different one. I don't like it. I'll just keep trying. Who knows? That's a Nurse Scylla. I don't want it. Nope. Alright. We'll have to go for this one. That looks like just a, a normal Zenogre, sadly. Um, yeah, that looks like just a normal Zenogre, which is sad, but we'll have to go to a different den and see what we can get. Honestly, they're very rare, as I said, so I'm, this episode might be just a complete flunk, and I, I'm just gonna upload it anyway, because, you know, all I can do is try. We're on to our next den, which is right across the other side. Oh, and there's that. I will go after the, uh, the rare bones, because we can use that for selling items. Alright, let's go right here. Again, one of my goals is to get a... Um... Thunderlord Zenogre. And that is not what I'm looking for. Now, what are you? I have a, I have a little guide, so... Nope. That is definitely not it. Alright. That is not what I don't... That's not what I want at all. Um... That's a pink Rathian. And that's a Kezu. Oh, boy. Well, looks like we're fighting a Kezu, guys. Yeah. A little disappointed that things might not be going as planned, but sometimes that's how the episodes go. You just play it by ear, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Ooh, okay. Uh... I guess we're doing this, then. I mean, I'm not using my keyboard right now. I'm just using my, uh, my controller, so. And yeah, we'll go for this. A thunder field. Interesting. Come on. Break the face. Break the face. Nope, we didn't do it. That's gonna hit hard. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's ride Ratha. While, um... Uh... Kushina is going to heal, and we're going to actually use... Well, let's go for the body this time. Yep, dust of life. There we go. We're back to full health. And we're going to use our ability. Or our kinship skill, excuse me. There we go. I try to keep all my uh, episodes interesting. Like, every, every episode I do for uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2, I want to keep interesting. Because I love this game. I think it's awesome. So... Alright, here we go. So we got a pink Rathian. I'm happy about that. Uh, we got a pink Rathian. We got a... We also got a... Uh, another Zenogre. So these better be some very good um, monsters. Alright. We're going to keep going and we're going to find that other den. Speaking of which, I do want to show you guys. That is a Thunderlord Zenogre. That is a terrifying monstrosity, let me tell you. Be very nice if we were to get one. Maybe we have to actually hunt the monster, and we have to actually, you know, get the monster egg from the monster, um, from the, from the uh, the den that the monster is in. I mean, I could be wrong, but maybe that's what you got to do. And if that's what you got to do, I'm just messing it up. Well, who knows? Um, I don't think that's a deviant. It might be a subspecies or something. No, I don't want that egg. I'll just keep going. Let's see, is this going to be a good one, or no? So I do think you might have to actually beat the um, Thunderlord Zenogre, which I will do if needed. Now this looks like it is a... This, actually, I might believe will be a Deviant. So I will take this one. And we got to hunt a Ketchawacha, so I'm happy with that. If it isn't a Deviant, then I'm okay with that also. This guy's a speed attack, so I want to switch out. Actually, no, I want to stay with Thy Lump. So, again, as disappointing as it might be, that's just how some of the episodes go. And I'm okay with that. We'll just keep going and hope for the best. I do hope this guy hunts someone else, though. Um, okay, let's go with a technical attack. Come on. If they're going to be doing a power attack, I really hope that they plan ahead. This AI hasn't been the greatest. Yeah, I apologize for this kind of a boring episode, guys. There we go. Catch a watch is defeated. 
Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. I mean, I could try and hunt the, um... Yeah, I could try and hunt that Thunderlord Zenogre, but I don't think we're going to win it. Just because of how powerful it is. So, um, we do got all this area down here that we can explore, which I am going to do. So, I wonder what, what egg this is. It might be just a regular game of egg. I, or it just could be something else. A frozen flying wyvern egg. I think it might be a Legiana also. Yeah, I... I apologize for this episode, guys. Oh, I, I feel bad now. Not for myself, just for you guys. I had to watch this crappy episode. You know what, guys? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt a Thunderlord Zenogre. I hope we are prepared. Um, the initial moves for Thunderlord Zenogre are power attacks. So, and I I'm down a few hearts, but I have vital uh, I have vital essences just in case. So we need to use speed, and then we have um, we got to use technical moves. So I hope we can be prepared to fight it, but we're going to do it. I still have hope that we can turn this around and we can get a... Um, a Deviant Egg, or we can get a... Uh, what do you call it? Elder Dragon Egg. There we go. But I believe we can turn it around. So, let's do it. I probably won't show the whole fight just because of how long of a fight it will be. I will get this, though. All right, let's get right into this. Will we succeed? Probably not. Let me uh, start fight by using some vital essences. I hope uh, we're prepared. So we got a speed type. Um, we got two speed types. We should have brought a technical type. Sadly, I keep forgetting to switch out our party, but let's get going. Thunderlord Zenogre. Oh boy. Here we go. If we can beat this Deviant, it's going to do an insane amount of damage. It is weak to ice type, and, uh, to ice weapons, so keep that noted. Alright, here we go. Yep, it's going to use power attacks. Just like that. Oh, okay, come on. If our AI will actually stick with it, we'll be doing not too bad. Oh, well, we're not going to be getting... Oh, are we going to get a double attack? I really hope so. I don't think we will. No, we won't. We won it, though, so I'm happy about that. Only 100 damage. That's not as bad as I thought. Alright, so it's charged up. When it's charged up, it switches to speed type, meaning we got to use technical moves. And it's going to summon something. Which, we actually stopped it from summoning something. Maybe our luck is turning around. Yeah, but it's weak to ice. Um, for the head, you got to use slash attacks. For the body, you want to use blunt attacks, like a hammer. And then for the tail, you also want to use slash attacks. So, keep that noted. I think we can turn this around. I'm feeling a little confident. I mean, not overly confident, but it's, it's more confident than I usually would feel. Um, alright, I want to take a look at our, let's bring in our, let's bring in our, our own, uh, Zenogre. We're bringing in Zeno. I don't think it's going to do a whole lot, but we can give it our best, our best attempt. And it does have a little more health, so, a little more health than the other one. Um, okay. Let's go again. With a, I wish these guys would use technical attacks. Definitely makes it very difficult for us. Especially when it summons in things. We are getting a lot of uh, damage off it, so. Alright. Brought in one of those. I don't want to bring in Ratha, because Ratha is going to be very, very weak against this guy. Thundercall. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh! We evaded it. Nice! Okay, we're not doing overly bad, honestly. If we can just do a good enough job... Yeah, we'll be good. So... When it's angry, I believe... Um... 
I need, I need to heal. I as much as I want to as much as I want to attack, I can't. I need to I need to be overly cautious with this cuz we still have a chance to get a deviant. And if I can pull this around, I will. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Um, I'm going to heal myself. Another, another one of those, uh, attacks. Alright, come on. All element attack down. Yep, here comes another one. At least it didn't do as much damage to Arze, uh, to Arzino. What is Thunder Wheel? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, oh dear. <clears throat> okay, I uh, use a... Nope. They're going to heal us. And if they heal us... um, Yeah, yeah. Kushina is going to heal us. We are going to use a speed attack. Yeah, let's go speed. Good. It used a power attack. Good for us. Yes, sir. Hopefully we'll be able to take out these uh, Thunderbugs as well. The Great Thunderbugs, excuse me. I do enjoy this, uh, this Wrath Soul armor. It's definitely helping us with all the healing. And if we can get a double kinship attack on this thing, uh, that'll be really nice. But I'm, I, I think we should save our kinship skill for another time, just in case. Yeah, we're definitely going to save our kinship. It, it used its kinship skill on a Great Thunder Bug. Why? Why? Why would it do that? It's so stupid, I don't know. Uh, we'll use our kinship skill. I just want to be... Yeah, I don't want it to summon any more of those enemies. So. I wonder if we're able to get Deviant Armor. If we are, that'd be really, really nice. Like, phenomenally nice. Um... We are doing- we're doing a number on this thing. And we haven't lost any hearts yet, so we're doing very well. Legendary skills. Good job, Kushina. Oh, I'm actually excited. We might just turn this around. A little bit of a longer episode than I would have wanted, but I'm okay with that. I'm genuinely okay with that. If it means getting a Deviant, or a Elder Dragon, I'm happy with it. Again, I might not use Elder Dragons on my team, just, if, just because I don't really think it's necessary, but if it's good, I'll use it. Oh, we knocked it down, too. Nice! Okay, okay, let's go with a speed attack. Uh, let's go for the tail, because tail is weak against slash attacks. Oh, there we go. Come on, we're doing very well. Ah. Seems like those Thunderbugs do more damage than... Oh, gotta do the tippy-tappies. Here we go. Oh, I'm really excited. We're actually doing real well. Okay, I'm gonna use a speed attack. I think it, yeah, it's gonna be a um I'm sorry, I'm I'm not saying much. I'm just excited. I'm I'm really We might just turn this episode around yet, guys. Boom. Alright. Okay, there we go. We're doing real well. Um, and if we go for a speed attack, we, we can uh, sunlock this guy. There we go. Perfect. Now we can switch out to a blunt weapon. And go from there. Alright, let's ride our monster. And before we use a blunt weapon, I want to use a kinship skill. I don't trust it. I could have saved it for something else, but I decided not to. What a move. Uh. Alright, yeah, I'm going to trust that we're, it's going to be a power attack that the uh, Zenogre uses. I was right. And hopefully the Ivory Logarcus and I will be a double attack. 
And it is. Wow. Dude, our luck is turning around. Yeah. It's going to be speed now, so we need to use um, technical attacks. It's going to summon. Yep. Okay, come on. We got this. We got this. We got this. That Thunderlord's an ogre is massive. I remember fighting it in uh, Generations Ultimate. It was a it was a really fun fight. It was difficult. Let me tell you, there was. It was a very difficult fight. Come on, we're not doing too bad. For a first deviant, we're not doing. I mean, second deviant, we're fighting. It's we're doing really really well. Like I'm surprised about how well we're doing. Thunderbug Blitz. It does have a really wide array of moves, so... It is a power type, so that's another thing I gotta worry about. We evaded the attack, look at that! Come on, come on, come on! Uh, I'll use this move, and we're gonna attack the body. We want a blunt weapon first. Which we're gonna use Dio's Talus Hammer, because I haven't had time to upgrade it yet. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on, blunt weapon. Alright. Oh, we lost a heart, but that's okay. We still got some more. And I think both of us are gonna... No, I thought both of us would have our... Uh... Okay, good. Um... It's weak, that's for sure. Hopefully we afflicted Blast Blight with it. No, we didn't. That's sad, though. Okay, let's go again. There we go. All the damage we're doing on this thing, it's quite a lot. Come on. It's weak. It's really, really weak. Um, I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to risk using my kinship skill until absolutely necessary. Kushan is just using the, her kinship skill any second she gets, but I, I can't. I, do, I don't want to use it. There we go. If we can take out, uh, if we can break the body part. Alright, true electric charge. Now it's time to use it. Let's ride uh, Zeno and let's go from there. Alright, here we go. We stopped it from summoning something, so that's good for us. Come on, buddy. Oh, look at that. That's so awesome. I love it. Okay, here we go. Uh, can I use any... Sk I can't use any skills, sadly. That's gonna use a speed attack, so I don't like it that you're using a power attack. I'll use a technical just in case. Yep, I knew it. Be afflicted with a blast flight, so that's a good thing. And we're gonna break the body part. Yep, we broke the body part. We definitely did it. There we go. We did it. Thunderlord Zenogre defeated. Oh my word, I thought we weren't gonna win that. This episode went a lot longer than I thought, but that's okay. We did do two different quests, so... Alright, let's go see what... Yeah, let's see what egg we get. Alright, here we go. Come on, buddy. Ooh, Valkana. Ooh. You know what? I'll go again. There we go. Even better Valkana egg. Alright, we got a... We got a... We got a Valkana, guys. Look at that. Uh, if you don't know what a Valkana is, it is a Ice Elder Dragon. That can... Uh, that was released in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Very, very fun monster to fight. So it looks like um, you do have to go to one of the six locations that I mentioned um, halfway through the video. And you also have to fight the Deviant or the Elder Dragon in order to unlock the egg. So now that I know that, I, I know what to do from now on. And we'll be able to have a little bit shorter episodes. And we'll definitely be able to uh, do a better job than we did before. But we got a... Uh, an Elder Dragon Egg. I like it. 
Let's go hatch this egg. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's open these eggs. Um, I definitely think this is a Legiana. This one is definitely a Pink Rathio. Actually, no. Is it a Pink Rathalos? I mean, Rathian? I, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what we're going to get. We will find out, though. All right, we got a Zenogre. Good for us. Ow, ooh, that's a really good Zenogre, too. Wow. That's a Kezu. I don't have one of these guys yet. I, I don't think I've ever got a Kezu before, so I'll take it. Not the greatest stats. The Legiana? Well, it's okay. I'll probably use it for uh, the right of channeling. And we got a Velcana. There we go, guys. That is Velcana. I hope you guys uh, enjoy Velcana because it's a fun monster, let me tell you. Look at that. Velcana. Um, Alright, it has Icicle. Uh, wow, that's actually really good. Wow, that's a, that's a really, really, really good. That's such a good... Wow, that's a really good monster. I mean, it, some people might disagree, but it's, it's really good. Um, I'm gonna name you. Um, what am I gonna name you? Alright, um, let's see. Alright, I know what I'm gonna name you. I'm gonna name you. Um, Elieska. There we go. Ad Advanced Genetics. Uh, Achievement Unlocked. Good for us. Let's go see if there's any of that Zenogre uh, the Stygian, uh, excuse me, uh, the Thunderlord Zenogre armor. There is, right there. Thunderlord Zenogre armor. And, uh, we can't craft it, sadly, but it looks really, really good. Uh, it, what skills does it have? Heroics, uh, Evasion Large, okay. So it looks like it's a giant HP booster. Like, critical rate is... Everything is going to be boosted at under 50% HP. Not the greatest. I do have the Thunder... Uh, excuse me. Silver Wind uh, Nakakuka armor. That's also pretty good, but I'm not going to use that. I will, however. Um, yeah, I will, however. Make some Kezu armor. Because I can. But that actually turned out very good. And let's go check our expedition as well. Alright, guys. So, yeah, we, uh... We're doing very well. We, uh... The episode definitely turned around, so I'm, I'm really, really happy about that. Yeah, we, this episode turned around. I am... I'm very pleased with how this worked out. So, let's just finish collecting these items. Definitely a lot of items, that's for sure. I'm also going to level up our, uh... There's all our Palamutes from the other episode. And there's that. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit of a longer episode. I apologize for all the mess-ups. Uh, I'm still learning this game, just like a bunch of other people. Um, but we got a Valkana, and we fought a Thunderlord Zenogre, so now, now we know how to... We, uh, so now we know how to fight it. There's that. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't you dare say a word, Naviru. Your smiling disgusts me. <laughs>